The first monthly Social Security check was cashed in 1940 for a grand total of about $23. Fast forward to 2020, and the average retired worker gets almost $1,500 a month from Social Security. Nearly 9 out of 10 people aged 65 and older receive Social Security benefits, making it an essential part of retiring in the U.S. Benefits are based on your income, the year you were born, and the age you decide to start taking money out. Here's a few case studies. These numbers assume you'll turn 62 in 2020 and had a steady income over the course of a long career. First, let's look at someone who averaged $30,000 a year. Social Security takes your top 35 earning years, adjusts them for inflation, adds them all together, then divides that number by 420, the number of months in 35 years. That gives you 2,500. Still with me? That figure is your Average Indexed Monthly Earnings, or AIME. Simply put, it's your monthly pay for the last 35 years. There's still some math to get through. Your benefits are determined by bend points in an equation, almost like a tax bracket, but it's used to give you money instead. The less money you've made, the higher a percentage of your salary you'll get back. This is designed to help low-wage retirees. Here's how the bend points work based on your average monthly salary from before. You get back 90% of your salary from the first $960. That's over $850. The next bend is a little trickier. You get 32% of your earnings between $960 and $5,785, which comes out to just under $500. And at $30,000, we won't have to worry about that third bend. Add those together, and you get your monthly benefit of $1,357 from a $30,000 salary if you wait until your full retirement age. Now let's run some more salaries through the bend points. If you made $40,000 a year, you can expect more than $1,600 every month in retirement. Bump your lifetime salary up to $50,000 a year, and your benefits will be about $1,900. A $60,000 salary means you'll get over $2,100 every month at your full retirement age. At $75,000, you'll need to start using the third bend to get your total of just under $2,500. And finally, a $100,000 salary will turn into over $2,700 in Social Security benefits. These numbers assume a lot of variables, but give you a picture of what to expect when you retire. You can go to ssa.gov to get an official estimate of your benefits and tips on what age you should retire. And don't forget, Social Security is not meant to be your sole source of income for retirement, and the bends and totals are always changing, so you still need to be serious about saving for retirement. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.